Hi, and welcome back to the Mr. Brad Warden Show. And tonight, I have a special sample here that I got. And I always enjoy samples and freebies that people are willing to send out. And a while back, I did the Fonzie's Insane Roulette Challenge, which was awesome. It was the one that looked like a gun and there were six chocolate bullets. And here's the Fonzie's Roulette Challenge that I did, which is which is a solid challenge. The bullets, you do six bullets and they each get hotter. Well, when I bought those, um, they were nice enough to send me some free sample spicy peanuts. As you can see there, a nice little sample pack. And their company is straight out of Belgium and Europe. So they sent it all the way across all these goods. And I appreciate it. So you can check them out. Um, their website is Fonzie's Insane Hot Sauce. So they have sauces and nuts and challenges. So it's a good company. Um, solid products so far that I've had. So... I'm going to try their free sample spicy nuts. And when you get a sample, you never know what you're going to get. I don't know if it's going to be crazy hot. So I'm going to review the spice heat level and the flavor on Fonzie's sample spicy peanuts. Hmm, interesting. Let's, uh, let's see it there. So definitely seasoned here, coated and seasoned. It smells tasty. I'll go for a few first since it's so late in the evening again. Mmm. Delicious. The build is slow. I'm not sure what I'm going to end up with here. It's almost like a I just want to say some kind of roasted. I just want to say like honey roasted, but I'm not sure. I got some spice and salt on the outside. <clears throat> the burn is super, super slow, but it is picking up. The first like two or three nuts, I didn't have like anything. They're really tasty though. Really good snack. I'm gonna finish these off. They're definitely not a death nut, but it's like a really slow, gradual build. Hmm. It'd be a solid snack for a chili head. Right now, I'd be getting pretty hot for an average person. I'd say average person would be at probably like a five or six, and I think it's still building a little bit too. Mmm, super good snack. These might be available on their website. I'm not sure I saw some nuts on there. Since these were their sample ones, I'm not sure if these are the same ones they sell. Um, the ones on their website, I think, let's say, contain Carolina Reaper. If these have Reaper in it, it would be a small enough amount to where I can't like specifically taste it. I can, I know there's pepper in here, but I can't taste a specific type of pepper here. They're gonna be a solid snack for chili heads. Really good. I would say average person probably be at about a seven. After snacking on these, a lot of them. A few wouldn't do too much because it's such a slow build. But after a whole pack or sample pack, it's the average person about a seven. Chili Hub, not really a factor, but they were delicious. I ate them all up and enjoyed them. I could definitely go for some more. So, Fonzie's did good. Solid snack. Not gonna, not gonna take out any chili head. Um, 
It probably would for an average person probably going for a snack or milk run because kind of built by the end again. Probably like a seven to eight for an average person. I got a nice burn going. Nothing severe or anything, but tongue burn. A little bit in the throat too. But I'm not sure. I'm not sure if these had a little bit of reefer in or not, but they had a nice, they were roasted, some kind of flavor. I almost want to say like a light honey roast, but I'm not positive on that. And then a nice amount of like salt and spice too. And a little bit of hot pepper, but I couldn't pick out what it was. <clears throat> like I said, if it's the same one that's on the website, maybe a little reefer, but I don't know. I could not taste the reefer in there. So... Good website, good company, Fonzie's out of Belgium. Um, check them out if you haven't yet. Um, and thank you, Fonzie's, too, for sending me the extra nuts. They were a delicious late-night snack for me. And so we hope you enjoy and have a good rest of your evening and good day tomorrow. And we'll see you next time on the Mr. Brad One Show.